Today is uh, November 30th, 2008. I'm Professor James Abbott at the Cooper Union Acoustics Lab. I'm going to demonstrate the first test run of this prototype. This is a demonstration device to visualize the Boyer series. This is a disc about 36 inches in diameter, which will rotate at an angular velocity of about uh, 40 uh, rounds per minute. This second disc has half the diameter of the large one, about 18 inch diameter. It will rotate at twice, approximately twice that angular velocity, about 80 rounds per minute. And then this third disc out here will rotate at three times the rate of the large one, about 120 rounds per minute, and its diameter is one-third the large disc. The idea being that to observe the motion of a point on the rim of the small disc from the side, one would see the sum of sine omega t plus one-half sine two omega t plus one-half, one-third, excuse me, sine three omega t assuming they're all starting in phase, which will not be the case. So the phase relationships of those three sign components will be changing since, uh, well, for one thing, they'll start out out of phase, and then uh, the slight variations in angular velocities from the ideal harmonic ones will cause the phase relationships to change. Uh, but the idea is that once this uh, concept is refined, we can start them in phase and keep them in phase and observe from the side the linear motion as the sum of those three sinusoids, which starts to approach the violin displacement at the bow, uh, the sawtooth. So let me turn these on. I'll start with the small disc and then work my way up to the large one. 